This is your host, the Apostle Reuben, with another short Bible lesson. Again, brothers and sisters, we'd like to read it to you from one end of the book to the other, if we can. Genesis 25, 23. And the Lord said unto her, two nations, ah, so two different nations will come from these two babies. Two nations are in thy womb. Two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder so serve the younger. So, brothers and sisters, I want you to notice, two nations. So one baby is going to make a nation, and another baby is going to make a nation. Remember, this is Genesis, the beginning. And they're going to be two different people. They're not going to look the same. I want you to pay attention. And one shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. So the first baby that comes out eventually is going to serve the younger baby. Verse 24. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her, in her womb. Excuse me. Twins. The first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. So one of these babies who's going to become a nation is Esau. I just want you to see that. Now, I want to go to Genesis. I want one verse out of this. Genesis 36, verse 1. Now, these are the generations of Esau, who is Edom. I saw Esau is called Edom. Edom. Edom means red. We can accept that. Malcolm X was a black man, but he had red hair. Red skin. All right, let's go. They always want to talk about David, but okay. Let's go here. Genesis chapter 37, verse 9. I'm reading this for a reason. And he dreamed yet another dream and told it his brethren and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more, and behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. So we have the sun and the moon and the 11 stars. Let's see who the sun and the moon was in the 11 stars. You're going to find out through the next verse. And he told it to his father and to his brethren. And his father rebuked him and said unto him, What is this dream thou hast dreamed? See, Jacob understood it. Shall I and thy mother, which was the sun and the moon, and thy brethren indeed come and bow down ourselves to thee, to the earth. So Jacob understood that he was the sun, his wife was the moon, and his brethren were the 11 stars, which makes Joseph the 12 star. I want you to understand the parable. Stars, stars. The 12 tribes of Israel were the stars. Understand what we're saying. Let's move it down the line. I want you to see this. I want to go to the book of Psalms 137, verse 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. Ah, Edom is Esau. Right? Here just this is this is a this this all this parable, but prophecy right along with it. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom, and the day of Jerusalem, who said, Race it, race it even to the foundation of thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. You served us evil. It's going to come back. But Edom is called the daughter of Babylon. That's what they are. They're the daughter of Babylon. I want you to pay attention. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 33. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, the daughter of Babylon, that's Edom, is like a threshing floor, and it's time to thresh her. Yet a little while, and the time of her harvest shall come. Oh, boy, this is something serious. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, has devoured me. Ah, he hath crushed me. He hath made me an empty vessel. He has swallowed me up like a dragon. Ah, dragon. So, again, the prophet's already 
giving us a little clues about this thing. The daughter of Babylon, which was Edom, was noted as a dragon, a power. He hath filled his belly with my delicacies. He hath cast me out. And I want to drop down to verse 36. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will plead thy cause, Israel now, and take vengeance for thee, and I will dry up her sea and make her springs dry. And Babylon shall become heaps, a dwelling place for dragons. Ah, oh, again, an astonishment and a hissing without, without an inhabitation. So this time Babylon is going to become a place nothing dwells but dragons. Now, the Bible notes dragons as animals, different type of strange animals, but also the dragon was a power. Let's look at it again one more time. Ezekiel 29. Ezekiel 29. Verse 3. Speak and say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against, against thee, Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Watch this. The great dragon that lieth in the midst of the rivers, which has said, My river is mine own and I have made it for myself. I want you to notice what Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, was called the great dragon. This is parable talk. Pharaoh was noted as the great dragon, the power, his power. He was called a dragon. But see, when we get, I want you to pay attention now. When we get to Revelation 12, I want you to look at this. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon. Pay attention. Which? Under her feet. And upon her head, a crown of 12 stars. The sun and the moon was Jacob and the mother. And the 12 stars, remember it says 11 stars, but 12 means all 12. So these stars are tribes. These 12 stars are the 12 tribes. Watch this. Verse 2. And she, being with child, which is Christ, travaileth in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. Behold, a great red dragon. Now, wait a minute now. Now, the Christians have you think this big red dragon is some big old beast in heaven. Or one of the, because, oh, well, Satan can become by transfiguration the big, great red dragon. No, this red dragon is a power. And notice, John called it red dragon. He let you know what color the dragon was. Having seven heads, those seven heads were seven time periods of rulerships and ten horns. The ten horns was the European Union. We already know this. And his tail drew a third, uh, uh, excuse me, and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. The third part was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And it has cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. But I want you to drop down right, right quick. Let's drop down. Verse 7. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels. Who is this dragon? The same red dragon. It never changed. So this dragon and his angels are fighting against Christ and his angels. I want you to pay attention. And the great dragon was cast out, the old serpent called the devil. The great dragon is the great red dragon. He was cast out. See, brothers and sisters, John saw a war, and a people lose this war to Christ. They try to make this, oh, Satan was cast out of heaven. No. I'm going to show you, brothers and sisters, in future podcasts. And the great, dra and the great red dragon was cast out, the old serpent called the devil. And Satan, which deceived the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. When it says cast out, it doesn't mean cast out of heaven, it means cast out of power.